Hi everyone, this is Nafish. In today's lecture, we're going to go over some of the filters we use in OpenCV. Um, basically, we use the filters for image pre-processing and, you know, I will just name a few reasons or some of the um, things we can get out of this filter. So firstly, we all know that it could re uh, reduce the noise, right? So noise reduction, the noise could be coming from the environment or, you know, the lens itself or internal, um, internally generated, okay? So noise reduction and then smooth out the or sharpening the image so smooth or sharpen the image and then you know um basically we can also say like um age detection age for age detection and then like feature extraction so basically you know more relevant features will be kept and the others will just you know just be uh, excluded from the model and uh, that's why you know in the pre-processing phase we, we mostly use these uh, filters you know just to focus on the relevant areas or relevant subject before we get into the um, uh, ml or you know deep learning model okay so then uh, filters to go over in uh, in today's lesson uh, just going to go over um, convolution uh, filter and then we have um, we have Gaussian filter, we all know this, and then we have blur filter, and then we have uh, median, median filter, and what else? I think let's go over all these four first. So firstly, we have to import OpenCV, right? So import op, um, CV to as CV, and run this line, and then um we have to import an image right so i'm just going to keep that image in the variable called img so img is cv calling that open cv dot um i am read and then need to provide the name of that image so just going to fetch that card game 29 image and then run it okay and this image uh, let's convert into rgb so image rgb is nothing but we have to call this open cv so cv dot um, convert color cvt color press tab and it will appear itself and then you have to give the input so Im imagine this is the input and then cv dot color then if you press tab all the options will show up so uh, it's going to be bgr to rgb okay this is the one we want so we convert it because we are going to show everything in uh, matplotlib we are going to plot it out meanwhile we have to import import all the um, matplotlib as well so import matplotlib.py plot as plt so this this is for plotting purpose and i'm also importing numpy as np so this is for numerical or arithmetic operation okay so just going to run this this one and let's visualize our image so plt.im press tab and you will see i'm show popping up and then write down img rgb and then run this file so this is the image we're going to work on okay so firstly we have to convert so as i mentioned like you know let's use the convolution filter and i'm going to show how we are doing the convolution okay for just using a, a very simple example but first let's call that um, convolution uh, filter so for that uh, let's rename that variable img rgb um, convolve and then uh, cv let's call that a convolution field um, function and for that we have to call cv dot filter 2d so filter 2d then the input is going to be our image and then we have to provide minus one this is the density and then um, so basically we are going to keep the same density as the image you are displaying right there okay there is no change over there and then we have to provide a kernel now what is this kernel so for every filter we know that there are some coefficients right and there is a transfer function that's made of the coefficient so basically this kernel is nothing but a transfer function which is a matrix very small matrix compared to what we have for the image and just going to show you in the next example how that is working but for now let's see how, what is the impact of that so let's say kernel we are just going to define the kernel np so calling the numpy and then let's say once so it's going to be a three by three dimensional matrix with all ones okay so basically all the value of all the value of rows and columns are ones okay so np dot once and then as i mentioned three by three so let's say three three and then we have to say we have to convert it to 
uh, float right so np dot float 32 okay and i think we are all set let's run this guy and just wanted to show you guys the kernel how that that how does it look like so this is the kernel you know it's all the values are one and basically we are going to input this to that filter one thing i haven't done here which is like we have to basically normalize it so there are nine elements right you can see it so we have to uh, divide it by nine right so divide by nine okay so if it was a five by five then we have to divide it by 25 because there would be 25 elements okay so we have the kernel and then we can pass it through the filter and let's run it and then we let's visualize this okay so plt dot im show and then we have img rgv convolve and let's visualize this image okay okay it seems like the color is different because probably i am not using the right input yes so i'm just using the img I have to use img rgb remember here we are converting the color to rgb so basically in when you open something in opencv the the format of the color channels are bgr but you have to every time convert it to an rgb so here you have to convert it to rgb and then run it kernel we all know it and this is the output okay in first glance there is hardly any difference but you know uh, we can make it five by five and we'll see like it will be blurred because some of the high frequency components will be filtered out so let's use 25 here okay just uh you see the it's going to be a five by five matrix now okay and you see this image is a little bit blurred okay so let me show you how this uh, convolution is working i think all of us is kind of familiar with this but just want to give you an example so this is our kernel right um uh, let's take a three by three because five by five will be a like you know challenge uh, let's have a three by three it's a bit faster so this is our kernel and let's say let's visualize the kernel i think this is it okay and let's say um we are putting this kernel on top of a of an pixel okay of this image so just going to like mathematically how this is working just going to show you so let's say we have uh, some values like test let's say the variable is test and we are kind of generating a pixel okay so for that so np dot a range and let's say we have values from 1 to 10 and then um we are reshaping it because we need a 3 by 3 matrix so reshape 3 3 okay so um let's visualize the values so test is this is the one okay so what it is doing is like you know when we're doing this processing this convolution what is doing like these values is just sitting on top of this three by three so here we have a three by three right and it's just sitting on top of this three by three and uh doing an element by element multiplication so just going to show you right here so we have the kernels here we are dividing here by nine but just for simplicity let's divide it by one okay just uh divided by one for now okay so that you know we can just visualize the what is going on here okay so now let's do a convolution okay so to do that as i mentioned like element by element right so we have one times we have one here right then plus then we have two here and one here so one times two then we have oops uh one times three right so first row we have one one and one and we multiply it by one, two, and three. Then go to the second one. So here we have one times four, then one times five, then one times six, okay? And then we have one times seven plus one times eight plus one times nine, okay? So you do an element by element multiplication and then let's see what is the sum of all these three so we have one two and three this is six and then we have four five and six which is 15 and then we have seven eight and nine which is 15 24 okay so in total we have 45 so if you add all these three we get um, 45 so after the convolution we get 45 okay but this 45 will just substitute this value right in the middle okay it will just substitute the middle value so what this operation is doing here cv dot filter 2d 
what we're doing is like you know we have a kernel we're putting the kernel on top of a certain pixel for example this is five here and then we are doing the convolution as i mentioned and showed here and then this middle pixel will be replaced and then we'll just keep doing this for all the pixels okay so just going to show if the res result is satisfied okay so what i'm going to do is like copy in this line copy this one and then paste it here and let's say test the name of the variable is test result and you know the input is going to be a uh, test here so test and the kernel is already defined here right there so run this part and then visualize oh okay so this error this is popping up because i haven't converted this into float so let's convert this into float um test is equals to np dot float 32 and then the input is test okay so run this line and then run this line okay and let's visualize the results test results okay so you see our middle pixel is 45 so this value we, are, we have gotten like this okay so if you just try to like do any for any of these uh, values you will just see like how the numbers are derived okay so and you know for the very first one we'll be do some zero padding you know because there will be no nothing on the sides so this is the way we're doing the convolution so um as i mentioned we also uh, wanted to show like the gaussian then the blur filter and the median filter right and um let's um, plot all these the all these three types of filter so let's say img then we have the rgb image and then blur filter and then let's call CV, then blur. And then the input is the image. And then we have to give like the, like what is the dim dimension of this kernel, right? So let's say we are going to use a five by five kernel, okay? That's it. So kernel is this guy right here, okay? We are going to use a five by five, okay? So let's run it. So we have gotten, oh, again, I have done a mistake here. We have, it's going to be uh, image RGB, okay? So let's run it. So we have gotten this blur filter output then do the gaussian and the median okay so image gaussian and then for that we have to call cv.gaussian i think gaussian blur and then we have to name the input which is image and then we have to call like you know uh, it's five by five and then we are just going to press a zero here because zero means like you know you're going to calculate the standard deviation out of this kernel okay so run it and then we are also going to do uh image oops uh image rgb and then median and this is nothing but cv dot i think it's median right median blur yeah right there okay and the input is the image and in this case you just need to provide like you know um the any number that is greater than zero so basically here you are just going to use a five by five so put five so these are the these are some of the functions you can call out there are many 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 functions but you know um main thing is like i already mentioned like you know how can we do the convolution here i'm just taking once you can also take an identity as well okay um which is like you know you can just call like for for example like kernel is nothing but um np dot identity and then you know you just put a number like you know three so here then the all the diagonal elements would be one and the rest are zeros right right there so basically kernel there are different kernels as well you know it's just not only one 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 okay so just removing this but again but you know just wanted to show like this is i have taken all ones but this can could be anything okay so let's run these guys and then let's plot all of this okay so for that plt dot plot and then oh i have to do i am plot okay i'm show and then first we are going to show the original image which is i think image rgb and let's give it a title so plt dot uh, let's say original okay and this is we, we need a subplot because we are going to show four images so three are filtered and what is the original right so plt dot subplot oops subplot right there and then so let's say since we have four objects we have let's create a two by two 
uh, two rows and two columns and this is the first element okay now I'm going to copy all of these and going to paste it right here so here this is going to be the second element and then in the second element we're going to show the blur filter okay and let's call it just blur okay and then paste it again and here this is going to be the third element and going to be rgb gaussian let's say name is gaussian and then we have the fourth one which is let's say four right here and then we have rather than the blur we have the median which is i didn't mention like this is just taking the median of that uh, pixels okay so median and there are reasons like you know why we use all these diff different features one is like in some cases one is better than the other one and in some cases one is performing better than the other one okay so let's visualize this, the images there's some error here i haven't mentioned the title so plt.title <laughs> that's the massive mistake so title and then title here as well run it and oh i didn't convert the color so basically here i'm not taking the input i image rgb okay i'm just taking the original input so to take this one as input okay then run it and then run this guy now hopefully the color will be same okay so you know this is a blur and this is gaussian this is median i hardly see any differences but you know we can just make this plot a little bigger so plt dot dot figure and then let's say fix size is 10 8 inches and then run it and this is what we see i can see some blurring effect now we can do some more blurring though okay to do that let's say like you know we use 15 by 15 matrix right here and you know that's going to average out like 15 pixels right so let's do this let's run it and you can definitely see the blurring effect okay so basically but this median and the gaussian one is better than the blur one you can just visualize but what it is doing is like removing some of the high frequency components some of the unwanted things that you know still without those things we can represent the meaningful picture 